The Summer Research Institute is a program that is organized by the Center for Secure and Resilient Maritime Commerce, uh, which is sponsored by the Department of Homeland Security. The Summer Research Institute um, contributes an enormous value to Department of Homeland Security um, and other in and agencies involved in national security. The objectives of the Summer Research Institute are to bring together a diverse group of students to educate them about the maritime domain. I think that the ultimate vision is to tie together the students' academic and professional and operational experience into something that is going to produce first-rate, high-quality contributors and leaders in this community for years to come. This year we're hosting 21 students from around the nation. These 21 students represent eight universities. Stevens does serve as the lead university. Stevens has been a tremendous uh, location for our program because of our vast research assets. We're centrally located. It's just a tremendous test bed for us to have our students engaged in real-world, hands-on field experiments in the Hudson River. We have at our disposal the Maritime Security Laboratory. We have our Davidson Laboratory as well. There are so few places in the country, and, and arguably even the world, that are so specifically focused on this type of research and this type of, of development. and the potential for the partnership between Department of Homeland Security, the United States Coast Guard, and also Stevens is, is vast. The student that we're looking for is somebody who's going to work well um, in teams. It's all about interdisciplinary teaming. We give them tremendous opportunities and they have a wealth of uh, research assets and academic expertise at their fingertips. They're divided into uh, two major areas. One is uh, the area of sensor technologies, and one is the area of consequence assessment. The first team is uh, trying to determine uh, how best to use technology to uh, detect as early as possible a threat that might affect our national security. Uh, the second team uh, is dealing with the issues of should something happen, uh, what is the uh, best way we can respond to that. Firstly, we looked at um, acoustics, uh, underwater acoustics in particular, how to detect uh, uh, vessels and how to characterize them. We looked at um, various photographic and image processing, infrared technology. Uh, with the help of our partners in Rutgers, we uh, used over-the-horizon high-frequency radar, and that was complemented by our partners in the University of Miami who provided us satellite imagery, and then the students Firstly, had to learn how all these technologies might apply, and then more importantly, in a way, recognizing that an operator in the field might be overwhelmed with these technologies and how best to integrate them and put them together and alert an operator that something's happening. The students have engaged in a lot of work um, and research and output of um, tools that will help emergency responders and will help in research capacity. Specifically, what they've done is look at very high resolution ocean and atmosphere prediction systems that are unique to Stevens and incorporated them into a web-based tool for decision makers. One of our main focuses is this website, Magello, and uh, this website allows the end user to have access to all this information that we're working on here. Our team's looking at the modeling of plumes in the atmosphere and spills in the ocean. We could go and say, okay, well there's an oil spill, which direction is it going to go in? Where should we tell the, the Coast Guard to uh, cordon off an area to collect the oil so it doesn't contaminate everything? Our goal is really to uh, provide upper level decision makers with accurate forecasts and uh, simulated models of atmospheric plumes, oceanic uh, spills, and really give them uh, context to better assess uh, an emergency situation. When we would be coming up to Hudson Bay, we had high frequency radar telling us when a boat would be coming in. We had AIS to tell us, all right, well, what kind of boat is it? And then as it got to the harbor, we were able to use the acoustics to measure, okay, is this validating whether it's coming from the north to the south? Um, does the strength of the signal represent how large the boat is? We are able to get satellite flyovers so that we have satellite images of 
various areas of the Hudson River. We had unprecedented access as students in the CSR to this great level of, of high quality data that's really only available to, to really trusted officials at Naval Research Lab and some other high-end labs around the nation. One of the highlights of the um, SRI has been the wealth of um, resources that had been made available to us in terms of um, faculty members, in terms of equipment, in terms of um, links with um, government officials and, uh, and other people in decision making um, positions. We had the benefit of uh, meeting with the Regional Catastrophic Planning Team in New York City as well as uh, the New York Department of uh, Emergency Management and those two visits meeting with industry professionals really uh, brought new life to our research. We've also attended field trips at Sandy Hook where our students saw the deployment of radar equipment along the coast. We took them to visit the Port of Newark and Elizabeth and um, we had uh, Beth Rooney from the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey uh, explain the challenges facing uh, managing the port from a security perspective. We've also had some uh, incredible guest speakers this summer. We had the advantage of having uh, Dana Goward from the U.S. Coast Guard, Nick Para, who is the Chief Systems Engineer for the U.S. Navy. We had someone from University of Hawaii come in and spend two weeks with us and give us various advice about how we should utilize our technologies and optimize our results. And we had the opportunity to work with an MIT professor and also um, the uh, officers from um, uh, different offices from the cities. I have seen more people from more different places interacting in and around the Summer Research Institute and the center here at Stevens than I see in a lot of places. It is almost a model for how academic industry and public partnership should work. I think the one thing professionally that I'll take away from the Summer Research Institute experience is working with a wide variety of people from different backgrounds. You know, we all had the common goal of sort of increasing our knowledge and increasing the marine domain awareness in, in the Hudson River. That was our summer goal, but really it was all about a bunch of people from around the country, different universities, different ideas uh, coming together and, and forming this interdisciplinary team and coming up with a great product in the end. I would absolutely recommend this program to other students who are interested in the maritime security area and um, especially to those who want to have some real life experience when it comes to uh, handling sensors, handling different uh, sensor technologies. The research that I see and the product that I see coming out of programs like Summer Research Institute, I can, I can project maybe five, ten years in the future and, and vividly imagine the Coast Guard using these things on, on a daily basis.